Hey guys, welcome to episode three of our Follow the Flip adventure. When we first started reselling, we knew we wanted to make this into a business. And the biggest thing with that is to treat it like a business. So with that, we knew one of the most important things was gonna be to keep track of everything. Today, we're gonna show you guys how to keep track of your inventory as well as your sales. So there are six things that we keep track of when entering the item into our spreadsheet. We're gonna use these Columbia boots as an example. The first thing is the brand. So these are Columbia. The second is the sizing system, whether it's men's, women's, youth, kids, toddler, whatever it is. The third is the model or the style. So with these, we do a waterproof, thin slit lined boot. The fourth thing is the actual size, whether it's an eight, a 12, whatever it might be. The fifth thing is the color. Um, so we'd put in black and yellow. And then the last thing that we make sure to put in a chart is our buy cost. And as you guys saw in episode one, we got all these for $5.88. So we'll make sure we get that into the chart. We use Google Sheets directly on our phones. You can see the icon in the top left corner. We're gonna click on that. And then the first thing we're gonna enter is the brand. As you guys saw, these are Columbia. So we'll put that right in our first column. The next thing we wanna put is the sizing category, which these are women's. The following thing is the model or style type. These are a waterproof 200 gram thin slit lined boot. We wanna make sure we're getting a lot of description in that section. The next category is our size. These are women's eight, followed by the color. These are black and yellow, so we'll get that in there. And the last thing we wanna enter is our buy cost. As you guys know, we got these for $5.88. Make sure you hit that check mark in the left-hand top corner to save your sheet. So on episode four, we're gonna show you guys how to photograph and list your shoes. Now we're gonna go through and talk about how to keep track of your sales on that same Google Sheet. We're gonna use our sale, these Hoka One Ones, as an example. So once a pair sells, you'll wanna take it off that inventory sheet and put it on a second sheet for your sales. You'll select the pair that's sold, make sure you get the buy cost in there as well. You'll then wanna cut it so it's removing it from this page. You'll open a second sheet and you'll wanna paste that pair into this sheet. As you can see, we've already sold a pair of Nike Air Max as well. You'll then enter what you received for payment after any fees, shipping, etc., followed by your profit. So that's $25 minus the $5.88 buy costs for $19.12. The cool thing about Google Sheets is then you can select squares and find your total. So as you can see, we've sold $50.60 worth of inventory for those two pairs. And you can also see how much your total profit is by selecting these two squares. So that's the super easy way that we keep track of inventory and sales using Google Sheets right on our Phones. As always, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below.